All right. So this is the part of the video where I want to show you guys how to install this. Now, first and foremost, you have to be on a PC platform in order to uh, make use of this. But the very first thing you want to do before you do anything, you want to go into features and I'm going to show you how to load up the roster. So go to create a roster. Then from here, you want to select WNBA from here. Once it comes up, you want to select user created roster. And then you want to press for me, it's Y. But if you see down here in the right corner, it says search, press whatever the search button is for you. All right. And let's go search by content name. And we're going to type in NCAAW and my roster as of right now is the only one that comes up but i'm sure after this video other people will make theirs if you don't want to search by name you can do search by online id and just type in tg so capital g good as just like you see it on the screen when you, when you do it that way then you'll see you know i've got this roster right here is don't download that one but this college NCAAW, that's for women's. Um, just, just click that. It's going to download the content to your PC, and you're going to see, okay, it takes a while for that first picture to load up because she doesn't have a picture. It's uh, generated by the game, but you'll see the team name says Texas Red Raiders. Now, at this point, if you haven't downloaded the mod pack for this i'm going to show you how to do that because there are some faces in this roster that need the mod pack and of course all the jerseys like this this face might not um well it will show up but it won't show in the texas tech jersey unless you already have the, the mod pack downloaded so let's go to that right now and i'm trying to take my time and explain this clearly and concisely so everybody can understand and anybody who wants to use this as long as you're on pc you can use it all right so i'm going to have the link down in the description for this these are the mod files okay so i'm going to have that link all you have to do is um well it'll come up differently for you guys hold on one second let me let me get the link get the link copy link So I made it available for anyone who has the link. So now when you guys type in the link, this is what it should look like for you. All right. So over here, there's going to be a download button and you can just click download. And it's going to it's going to download a, a seven zip file. So let me see if I. Um, well, I guess I could just no, I don't want to download it myself actually. Uh let me see something. If we go to mods. Here it is. Let me cut this. Alright, so this this is the file right here. So basically once you get this file, let me move it so you guys can see it a little better. And because it is 735 megabytes so hopefully you guys are okay with that um let's see if i go to okay so here it is right here so all you have it's a seven zip file <clears throat> i recommend downloading a program called seven zip it's a compression program it allows you to compress and decompress files basically i use it so i can you know put a bunch of files into a smaller file compression and put it on the internet so you guys for you guys so once you have it as long as you have seven zip the program so if you don't have that you can pause the video right now and go get it um, you can come here you could right click and you could do open here or um, extract files and it'll put everything into a folder Or what you could do is you could copy this folder 
into your uh, mods folder. If you guys don't know what the mods folder is, then you'll need to go back to my um, I did a I did a video on how to install mods and I did a follow up video called the update. So there's two videos that you guys need to get familiar with if you don't know how to mod. And those are the two videos. I'll have the links for those videos down in the description. OK, so first you'll need to watch the first one to get the overall gist of this folder It's very easy to to install it. But if you already have the mods folder set up, what you could do if you don't want this NC double um, college troops for women mod messing up any of your current mods what you could do is rename your current mods folder you just rename it to whatever you want and then create a new folder and just call that one mods so what i'm going to do is um let's say i got mods two. so let's say this mods 2 was my original folder that i renamed and then i just created this we're pretending here I just created this mods folder. So what I could do is just uh, drag. I could drag this in there. And then once I drag it in there, I would right click and click extract files here. OK, so if you don't have any mods, install the mod folder. Go watch those videos, install the mod folder, get it all set up before you start your game. And then um, and then follow these steps. But if you do have the mods folder and you don't want to interfering with any of your other mods before you start the game, rename your current mods folder to maybe mods two, and those mods will not show up until you rename it back to mods. But whatever you have, whichever folder says mods is the one that will have the mods show up. So when you're done. Now, your folder isn't going to look exactly like mine because I have some extra stuff in here, but you're going to have a clothing folder. As well as hold on. You're going to have this clothing folder. You're not going to have these three things. You're you're not going to have that. This is stuff I put in myself so that I can um, do some other things. But anyway, I have the clothing folder and then you're going to have all of these files here. OK. So this is just replacing all this WNBA content. And so once you have this set up, like I described, if anything confused you, make sure you go back and restart from the part where I started telling you about this. Once you have this all set up, you can delete this file here. So right now it's in my downloads. But if you had that that seven zip file, you see it's 735 megabytes. Wherever it is, you need to find it and delete it. You don't need it anymore. So it's no point in having 735 megabytes just sitting around on your computer. So I'm, I'm going to leave it on my computer for right now, just in case. Well, no, I don't need it. I'll go ahead and delete it. So you don't need it either. So I delete it. So your folder will look like this. Then you can start NBA 2K21. Then then you can go back through the steps where I showed you how to load up the roster and everything will load correctly. All right. So when you get in here, you won't have to do anything further. You just start going in on the players and, whoa, oh, OK, they already have their jerseys, stuff like that. They, this, she already has her cyber face assigned. OK, that's cool. So that's how you do it. And uh, I hope that was really simple for you guys. I hope that was really clear and I hope you were able to understand that. All right, so.